So today on Nation, the Window Cleaners Podcast, we're talking about the top seven services I think you should offer. And if you offer them or you don't, it's really good to know. I'm going to tell you pricing. I'm going to tell you why I like them and what order they're in. But either way, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up, guys and gals? What's going on? We got different countries watching, listening. We got different people, different types of businesses. It's great. If it's your first time here, take a look around. Uh, This is the Window Cleaners Podcast, but I'm telling you, any service industry you do from janitorial, pressure washing, window cleaning, just anything, you're going to learn something. We don't tell you how to do a service. We tell you how to run the business side of it. So go back, take a look. There's a ton of stuff out there. We got 130 something episodes. Uh, it comes out live every Friday. It's anywhere podcasts are available. And of course on YouTube where our conversation is. Uh, this time of year, we should be having a ton, a ton, a ton of comments. So if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to comment. Uh, and for this episode, I want you just to tell me your services that you love and your order. Put it down below. Take a couple seconds. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, if you haven't had a chance yet to follow me on the social media, I don't usually plug that, but uh, we're doing a lot, lot, lot more um, on my Facebook page. It's Jersey uh, from WCR Nation podcast, something like that. You probably find it. <laughs> and on Instagram, it's uh, both places, but do definitely follow me. I uh, truly appreciate that. Uh, we're doing videos live, uh, small little snippets called the morning meeting on, uh, what is days is it? Uh, uh, Mondays and Wednesdays. And then we're doing shoot the poo Tuesdays and Thursdays and Friday nation comes up. We're going to try to do media every single day. So make sure you're dialed into that. And at least it gives you something to watch if you're around. Woo. So a few shout outs today is a uh, big squeegee Mike Nichols, uh, the man, um, Toby, uh, trend, Trant vein, Trant vein. Let me try that again. Toby Trant vein. What's up, man? I don't know why I got stuck on your name there. John Stewart. What's going on? And John Langtree. What's up? Just some of the cool kids. If you don't know who those guys are, they are amazing. They're awesome. They're super cool. If you see him around on Facebook, say, what's up? I heard you're a cool kid. But either way, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. So if you want any supplies and if you want to be a cool kid, go ahead and shoot me a message at 862-312-2026. Again, windowcleaner.com. We have uh, carts. Put everything in your cart overnight. Shoot me a text. Be like, yo, Jersey, my cart's ready. Can you put it in? Cost you nothing extra. Same price as if you were to do it yourself, but I get credit for it if I put it in. And it's like a virtual high five of awesomeness. And I can go and get like brand name band-aids or something. So thank you for that. Um, But no, truly, that's how I make my cheddar. So I do really appreciate you guys who uh, let me put orders in. All orders. Small orders. I get small orders. People are always like, I'm sorry, it's small. I don't care, man. I want them all. I want to put in every single order. Because I'm greedy like that. No, but I do genuinely definitely appreciate that. So thanks. There's the blurb uh, extra long this morning. But uh, we're talking about uh, the top seven services to offer. Now, I always preface this by saying I'm just some dude with a mic. So I may not be right. I don't know your business. Only you know your business. And the best thing about business, when you own a business, whatever you do is right. Anything you do is right because it's your business. So don't necessarily listen to me, but these are some helpful suggestions. And what I really, really like is not only for you to go ahead and thumbs up and subscribe to my personal YouTube channel, um, but also to comment here on windowcleaner.com if that's where you're watching it. That's where the conversation is. So comment down. Tell me your top seven in order of awesome to worst. Uh, I want to know what's it. I was just talking to somebody the other day who does like, um, I know Mike, the glass guy does, uh, auto installation for auto glass. Uh, we had a bunch of different ones. Awesome. Awesome things that people are doing that I uh, had no clue. So definitely tell me, but the top seven that I have are in my opinion, the best to the worst. Now, uh, I'll tell you each one individually and why, and I'll also tell you pricing, which 
Again, pricing is subjective. It's different no matter where you are across the country. Sorry, it's dry and had to drink some coffee there. Um, but pricing is hard. So I'm gonna tell you what I charge, at least what uh, minimums are per piece, that type of thing, um, and tailor it to what, what you like. But uh, coming in at number um, 10, the, or number seven, the, the worst, the worst service that I think you should still offer is gutter cleaning. Now, I know, going through fall, people love gutter cleaning because it's just a big burst of money. I know companies who have gutter week and it's like a $50,000 week because of gutters. That's awesome. But gutters suck, like let's be honest. Gutters are awful. Like uh, gutters are where um, the stink lives. Like I'm pretty sure of that. Like it's just mucky, it stains, it's gross. If you have a gutter vac, that makes it way better, I know. But gutters suck. They're just not fun at all to do. And the gross things I found in gutters, ugh, gutters. I just don't like gutters. A lot of people do. If you do like them, let me know. But, man. So gutters are one of those things that I started to charge uh, when I first got into business. I think our minimum was 99. That was 15 years ago. But through the years, I'm like, uh, all right, 149, 199. Finally, I said gutter minimums 249. And people are like, what? What about those little houses? Very seldom does anybody say no because they already know my quality or I can sell them and why I am priced what we are. But I don't want to do it for less. There's a concept that's called stepping over dollars to make pennies. And what that just basically means is that you're doing work for less money than you could by doing something else or doing something harder to make the same money as something you do easier. It's just like a casement windowed house. How awesome are those? Casement window house is so fast. I'd rather have that than a storm window. I think you would too, right? And that's kind of where gutters is. It's just, yes, I can make good money. We make about 150 bucks an hour, usually average per tech on, on gutters, but it's not fun. It's not fun. I don't like to put guys there. I don't want them to be all gross, it, bound to get dripped on them, and then they got big black gross streak. Ugh. And I, I know I'm losing man points by talking about how gross gutters are, but I don't like them. If you like them, post them. Tell me why you like them. But uh, it's number seven for me. You got to do it because you got ladders. It works really well. You don't want to be a master of uh, uh, or uh, jack of all trades and a master of none. But I think it's close enough that you can add that in. Gutter cleaning, bottom of the list, man. Next one up is flat work. Now, if you're a pressure washer and you're watching this, you're going, what? This guy's an idiot. This guy's an idiot, man. That's where I make my money, flat work. The cool thing about flat work is that you can go and do a ton of flat work, meaning you can go and do sidewalks in a condo complex where you're doing like hundreds and hundreds of feet of concrete. So you can rack up totals pretty darn quick. But in the scheme of that, there is edging to do. Um, there is uh, your, your normal you know, pressure washing setup if you're doing window cleaning and not pressure washing. Uh, the flat surface cleaner makes it so stinking easy. But the downside is you don't make as much per foot as I'd like. I can make more money doing a house faster than I can in flat work. Personally, I think. Because we don't get too many of the giant, giant jobs. Those guys that have the ride on you know, um, uh, scabby style kind of uh, setups where they just sit on it and they just hit sidewalks and they do miles of sidewalks. That's awesome, man. I don't have that kind of uh, equipment because I just don't have a need for it. But flat work's one of those. The other thing's like pool decks. I very much dislike pool decks. Uh, concrete slabs are good because they're easy, but pool deck is... There's knobs where the um, cover goes on. There's lips where the uh, pool edge sometimes can overlap or there's grates. There's just a lot more to kind of deal with on a pool surface. Uh, and again, the area may be big, but you're going around a lot of obstacles. You're doing a lot of work for what you get. So flat work comes in pretty close to the bottom for me. Uh, flat work starts for us at $99, um, but that's because we also do like a driveway or a, a walkway or a front stoop or a back stoop. Like sometimes people, because we wanna ups, let me start over. 
when you are to a house, no matter what service you're there for, you should have other services added on. You should be able to sell them other services. Never, and I say never, it's going to happen a ton, but never do you want to go somewhere to do, say, window cleaning and not do any other service, right? You want to do a bunch of different things. So upselling is very, very key. Now, that happens. I mean, our upsell probably 70% of our jobs, uh, 65 to 70, somewhere in there. I can't remember the numbers. But that is the jobs that we do not have upsells for. That's that's high. Uh, but the downside in that skewed information is if we add screens onto that, which is technically an upsell, screens and sills, uh, it's not calculated into that just because of the way that we figure it. But So it might be a little higher than that. But I would love 100%. 100% of the people that I go to their properties, I would love to do multiple services because they're going to get it done by somebody. right? And that's why I always say, too, is if you're a pressure washer that doesn't do window cleaning or if you're a window cleaner that doesn't do pressure washing, hear me out. Hear me out. If you don't do pressure washing and you're a window cleaner, how many times have you heard somebody say, well, we got to either reschedule or uh, let me talk to see when they're going to wash the house and then I'll schedule the windows, right? We hear that. I know for a fact that if somebody's getting a house wash, especially in the South, if they're getting a house wash, they're going to pair it with windows, okay? Because the house washer is going to spot the windows and they don't want the windows done before the house wash, blah, blah, blah. Now, if they go to, say, me and they say, oh, yeah, I'm calling to get a house wash, what am I going to do? I'm going to say, well, after our house wash, we can add on window cleaning and only charge you 99 bucks, depending on getting on the size of the house and things like that. I'm cleaning the house. I'm just going to detail the windows, hit them with a water fed. They're going to go, oh, wow. Well, we have a window cleaner, but 99 bucks is pretty cheap. Just add it on. Get it all done at one time. What do you think, honey? I'm going to steal that job from you because you don't do both services. That's as much as getting the extra money for the extra services. I'm going to steal that job from you. Like that, that's just what's going to happen. I want all the services that they need that I offer. Now, I don't pick up dog poop. You know, I don't walk dogs. I don't wash cars. I don't uh, do auto glass like Mike the Glass Guy does. So any of those other things, they're still going to find somebody else. But what I do is my wheelhouse. My wheelhouse are these seven services that I'm talking about. And you got to do them all. I got to upsell them. And that's why we do sometimes stoops and things. We have portable units for pressure washers alongside the trailers and whatever else. So if somebody does add that on, I'll rip out a power washer, hit the stoop, sidewalk, front walk, whatever, blah, 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 put it back in and get to going on everything else. I just added 100 bucks Again, minimum on that's $99. People always say, would you charge flat work by the foot? No. Because I don't want to have to measure everything. I don't go out there in a pool enclosure. There's so many things in the way and you got to, I'm not doing all that. I'm going to look at it and go, it's going to take me this much time. That's what I want to make. I want to make 125 bucks an hour in pressure washing. That's what I want to make in flat work. I'll get sometimes you're higher, sometimes you're lower, but that's about what we are at. Uh, it is higher, but then you have to understand that there's fuel costs and chem costs and things like that. But 125 is what we want to try to get. So if something's going to take me two hours to do, I'm going to be like, okay, uh, this two hours is going to take me 250. I, my bet it's 249. Always end with a sexy number, by the way. Uh, 125 is good. 149 uh, is good if you're at 150. 199 is good if you're at 200. I'm telling you, it just makes people feel comfortable. If you tell somebody it's $201 versus 199, what sounds about what makes you feel comfortable? 199. It's this weird psyche, but, but but use that. That's flat work. If you like flat work or flat work's number one, comment and tell me about it. But I'm not I'm not a huge fan. Not a huge fan. Um, the next on the top uh, list of services, uh, next one up is going to be commercial window cleaning. Now we just did commercial uh, last week actually about getting commercial. Getting commercial, I think, is super valuable. I think all of these services are very, very valuable to have diversify, right? But commercial window cleaning is very hard to get compared to some of the other ones. You can't just send stuff out there. Uh, you can't um, you can't advertise in normal, typical ways. You have to do the bids, and you have a lot more work. But the payoff on commercial is astronomical. The payoff on commercial 
is the highest ticket price you'll get out of any of these services. Any of them. For almost every project, I think the smallest, I lied, the smallest commercial project that we have is like 500 bucks, which I guess is not the biggest. It's a decent, you know, whatever, compared to a typical house or something, but I think it's like 500. Uh, but typically, you're talking about having commas in the uh, size. It's just, they're big commercial. You end up getting multiple properties. There's a lot of benefits to it, but the commercial itself, once you try to get it, there's a lot of labor that goes in that's involved with commercial. You have to find the property managers. You have to watch last week's episode on commercial. It'll tell you all about it, how I like to get it. And uh, I do really like commercial. Big tickets, downsides only twice a year, but the pro is you can schedule it whenever. So I schedule our commercial in the pre spring, so like late winter and uh, late summer. So uh, those are slow times. It fills it up. There's a lot of pros to it, but it's tough getting into it. Uh, it's tough getting and landing these jobs. There's a lot of work involved in front of it. The next one on the top seven services to offer, uh, which I'm not telling you numbers, is uh, number uh, four on the list, is roof cleaning. Now, roof cleaning is awesome. It's easy there is a ton of money to be made. Roof cleaning will be the most money you'll make per hour in any job. Roof cleaning. If all you do is you take a 12 volt pump, and, you know, if you got, you know, fancy air pumps and everything, that's fine. You don't have to yell at me. But what I do is I have typical 12 volt pumps and you got chemical in the tank. You know, go up to the edge of the roof and you water the roof. All you do is spray the roof. You try to spray on enough that it saturates the roof but doesn't drip, okay? You can use surfactants, surfactants of soap. It's basically bleach, which is SH, if you've seen that on any of the things, sodium hypochlorite. Bleach, a surfactant, which is a soap, the sticky part of the soap, kind of, if you think about it. So uh, I use fresh wash, love it. Uh, SH, bleach, same thing. Uh, surfactant and water, that's it. And I go up there and I rinse uh, just water like I'm watering a lawn but I just spray it on the it's so easy so easy so why is it number four on your list if you make the most money per hour and it's so easy it's because of the same reason that commercial work is on the list where it is and it's because of the cost of education the amount of education that goes into trying to convince somebody that they can even do their roof. A lot of people don't even know that they can clean the roof because what happens? They go, oh, that's all black and oh, I need a new roof. Everybody thinks that. They call a roofer who doesn't do roof cleaning. In fact, the roofer actually uh, replaces roofs. I don't know if you knew that. What do they tell them? Oh, yeah, you can't fix that. You got to replace it. And then you show up and you say, hey, I can clean that. I can clean that for a fraction of the price fraction of the price you'll get another roof wise it looks good you'll get another 10 years out of it maybe 20 years out of it depending on how new it is and where you live well my roofer my roofer said i have a new roof well yeah yeah they did <laughs> because they're a roofer you know it's the same thing you go into a chevy dealer and the salesperson of the Chevy dealer is going to tell you you need a Chevy. Ah, I was looking at those Fords. You think I could just get away with a Ford? No, Fords, ah, God. garbage. You need a Chevy. You're a Chevy man. Chevy's the best. Chevy. Why? Because they sell Chevys. So it's very hard to kind of get in there. So education-wise and roof cleaning, if you haven't done it, takes a lot more effort. Not impossible by any means. Uh, the downside with that, other than the education, is there, there's not really a, a high frequency. Um, usually you're every five years, you know, you have to go out there, but roof cleaning for us starts at 299, uh, sorry, starts at 399. Um, and that usually is just constituting one side of a roof. So North side is usually all that needs to get done for many, many years. I did the whole roof. Uh, I was, just, there's spores over there, blah, blah, blah. But I just realized that I can charge I can let people be happier at 399 doing one side of the roof because that's the problem side. And I'll always try to sell the other side of the roof because I want to treat the whole thing. It doesn't cost me all that much extra, double the time, which isn't much, and I can make twice as much. 
But the option is there to do the north side. North side is always going to be the one with the dark streaks, moss, all that fun stuff. Um, 299 is where I start. Uh, the most money that we've ever made per hour, per man hour, was on a roof. And uh, that was... That was uh, $372. No, $370. No, 370 370 something dollars a man hour um, to do a job. Now, there's people out there who will be like, oh, I make $370 an hour then. No, you don't. You make $65 an hour. That's your average. But there's a couple jobs you did really well in. I'm not telling you I do that on every job. Not at all. I'm telling you that was the most I ever made per hour. Um, and I even showed up on the job afterwards because I did feel kind of bad that we got it done. And so far, he was so happy. So happy. Didn't care. Like, again, no one, if you explain what's going on, 99% of people will not care because they're paying you to get something clean. They're not paying you to get it clean in X amount of hours. Now, if a magic wand ever comes out, right, if you're a Harry Potter fan or whatever, if a magic wand ever comes out and I have a magic wand, I'm going to charge you the same price I do always, but I'm just going to go, bing, done. And you're going to hand me the money. You're going to be happy because it, if it took me two days to do, I'm not going to charge you more, right? Sometimes people get upset because you work too fast, but I always joke around. and go, man, you made you made $100 an hour. Yeah, I said, well, we're hiring. They laugh and they pay me. So anyway, uh, that was uh, number four is roof cleaning. Education is just a little bit tricky. Uh, number three in my favorite things, top seven services to offer is route. Route window cleaning I love, especially this time of year, by the way. This episode came out in, what is it? Still January. January of 2020. January's cold for most everybody. Windows on residential drop because it's gross winter. So route is frequency. Frequency, frequency, frequency. You're not making as much as you're making on the other. I will never, you will never, I'm telling you, you will never make $370 an hour in route. <laughs> Just not. I'm fast. I'm fast at what I do. Uh, that was a kind of a crappy brag, but I know you're fast too, right? Uh, and you'll not make that, but you're going to make your route every week for the foreseeable future, every two weeks for the foreseeable future, every four weeks for the foreseeable future. I get almost everybody on at least every two weeks. That means that if I fill up two weeks of, of scheduling worth of stuff, right? You're on every second Monday, you're on every second Tuesday, you're on, and I fill up two weeks of work. I filled up a whole year, a whole year. That's huge. That is huge. Because the fact is, is that we need frequency in a business that lacks frequency, right? We have busy times. We're seasonal. So spring, we're money rich. Fall, we're money rich. Winter, we're not. We're, we're shopping at Aldi and eating ramen, which I love Aldi, by the way. But that's what we're doing. And so you need to have something like route to fill in all those blanks and just get you some frequency. I'm from Wisconsin. We ran a business in Wisconsin for years and years and years and years. And the thing that saved us is route. Route is awesome. Now you're not making as much on route. I'm going to tell you our window price. Our route price is a buck a pane per side. And our minimum is $10. Now there's a lot of guys out there I see on the forums who are like, yeah, I don't do route. My minimum is $100 if they want me. You're not a route guy. That's not a route price. Like, Don't say your minimum is $100 because no one's paying you $100 if they got three windows. right? You're not a route guy. You're hoping to pick maybe big route off, but then you're just screwing up your schedule. Route only works as if you have route scheduled. So what we always did is have a route guy. A route guy is somebody who just does route. And then after the route's done for the day, he then can fill in and help the other guys get done if need be. Or do some floater stuff. We talked about that before. Uh, gutter cleaning and things like that are on the floater. But the route guy, it works because the more route you have, the more money you make. And that sounds like, duh, right? You obviously have more jobs. No, I'm talking about per hour, you make more money the more route work you have. And the reason is, is if you do this place and then you do the neighbor and then you skip over and then do the person on the other side, you're, it's so close. You're just boom, 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 hitting them. If you do one here and then 20 minutes away is your next route job, you're not making a lot. So you make way more money the healthier a route is, the stronger, the, the, the more 
um, focused a route is, the better off you'll be, the more money you'll make. So route does take a little bit of time, but man, the frequency is amazing. Even if you could do $1,000 a week in route, that just throws on, that could be done in a day, and it happens like that every single week of the year. Guess what? When you're really, really busy, it's going to be very hard to get time for route. You're going to have to schedule it in. But when you're very, very slow, guess what? You love route. If you're not doing route, do route. Anyway, buck a pain per side every week or every two weeks and $10 minimum. Uh, number two on the list, top seven services to offer is house washing. Why is house washing on there, you say? And the window cleaning podcast, and it's number two, house washing is epic. House washing opens the door. If you're a house washer, but you do window cleaning, you could sell window cleaning. You're getting people in to do house washing, and then you're selling them window cleaning. If you're a window cleaner that does house washing, you can advertise house washing, which brings people in so you can advertise the sun. You're bringing people in no matter what service you have, and then you're offering the other services. That's why I always tell you, if you're advertising, don't advertise all your services. Focus. Focus your services. But then sell them when they come in. House washing is great. Uh, house washing is so stinking fast. It's easy. It is just awesome. The downside is you're going to smell like a swamp and uh, you're going to be covered in bleach. It's just bound to happen. But it's great. It's really, really a, a good fast service that is uh, repeatable yearly, uh, especially in the south. Uh, the farther south you go, the more there are, but the more people need it. Now, we had um, minimum wise of three ninety nine in Wisconsin. That was our minimum for uh, house washing. There's no green up there, so house washing is a little different than in the south. In the south, our minimum is two forty nine. Uh, yes, there are guys who have signs up every day of my life. I see signs that say eighty nine dollar house wash. I'm not competing against those guys. Those are splash and dashers. That's cool that they offer $89. I hope you don't offer 80 it, to do it for $89. But there's people that do it for that. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to go in and explain what I use, when I use, type of equipment. I'm going to tell them why I am more money. I'm going to tell them why they want to choose me because there's only one me and it doesn't matter what I'm charging, right? House washing is great because I can take that house wash and upsell residential window cleaning, which I keep babbling about, but that is my number one on the top seven services to offer is residential window cleaning. The reason for residential window cleaning is because it packs in so much. The residential side of things, your ticket price is up there. You do have to go in houses, which is the downside, but your hourly is great. Your frequency is great. I can get most houses on every two years or every two months, uh, twice a year. Oh, geez. But I have houses that go every three weeks. I have houses that go once a month. I have a lot of those. Build up a frequency. There's also a concept in residential called resi route. And what that is, is uh, I charge $25 for six windows in your house. You pick the six. And I'm going to do uh, six windows on the outside. Uh, and I'm going to do it every single month. You pick which six windows. I'm going to do it. It's 20 bucks. $25 was our price, but 20 bucks is what we have when you're in a uh, route area. I throw that on my route, and now you have a residential route. Because guess what? They're going to pick their uh, kitchen windows, the windows above the sink, the ones in the living room, their front end, something that's easy for you to do. Six windows, 20 bucks once a month. You're off and on to something else. Now, same thing with Resi Route is you need to build up the route. But residential in general is just a really good way to, A, get your foot in the door, Make a ton of money with it, but then uh, it's just your bread and butter. Your bread and butter. It's the one where you make you know, your thousands a day from Resi. Everything else kind of fills up the spaces when Resi isn't working. Now, if you're a pressure washer and you're going, I don't want to go in somebody's house, you can also do residential that's just outside. But, of course, you're limiting yourself. But it definitely, definitely works. Um, residential is number one. So I'm going to go over the list real quick. Number uh, seven is gutter cleaning, six is flat work, uh, five is commercial work, four is roof cleaning, three is route work, two is house washing, and one is residential. Those are my top seven. That's what I like. If you think it's different, go ahead and comment down below. And if you're still watching, I'm going to give you a code for 5% off your order. 
if you put it in through me this week. And the code this week is, um, let's go with um, top seven. Because I didn't write it down when I was going to get Top seven is the code this week. You tell me top seven via text, via call, anything. I'll get you 5% off your order uh, if you order through me. My number is 862-312-2026. I genuinely want to be your rep. I do text all day long. So text me anytime you need. And uh, I'm there for you. So uh, thanks again for watching. Hopefully you uh, go and get some money on these top seven services. Please comment if you're watching YouTube. Follow me everywhere you can. That would be absolutely amazing. And until next week, go out there and be epic.